Hello, my dear students. Welcome in English 802 for the vocational education students. Today, we're going to start with Unit 8, Lesson 3, Writing About Your Goals. By the end of this lesson, we are going to achieve three main objectives. The first one is to differentiate between short and long-term goals. Number two, we will identify the layout of writing about goals. And finally, we will write about goals. Before I start my lesson, have you ever thought about the importance of writing goals or setting goals in your lives? Well, let me point out that the people who have noble jobs or the people who reached high positions, they started from writing or setting specific goals for their lives. Because if the thing is planned, you will go through the plan and then you will reach and you will achieve your goals or aims. Now, let's see. Because you are students, so the major goals that you may set for your lives could be as follow. I will improve my English. Or I will read more books in English. Or I will save money to buy a car. Of course, since you are high school students, you are secondary students, you will definitely get your driving license very soon and you are planning to buy your car. So one of the objectives or the goals is to save money for buying a car. But let me ask you this question now. You have three goals in front of you. Can you think which one is short term goal and which one is long term goal? before we explain in details, pay attention. I will improve my English. You are a student and you are taking English subject. So this plan is for now, which means it is short term goal. I will read more books in English. I think if you do this, you have a certain purpose. It's because you want to develop or you want to improve yourself more in the language which means, again, it's short-term goal. Last but not least, I will save money to buy a car. This has to be a long-term goal. Why? Because it's not going to be achieved now or in a couple of months. It has to take like three, four, maybe five years. And of course, it depends on the car type that you are thinking to buy. Now, let me ask you or be specific in differentiating between short-term goals and long-term goals. Now, if the goal can be achieved within a very short period of time, let's say one year or less, it means let's start from a month up to 12 months only, here it is considered a short-term goal. Let's see an example to clarify that. I will improve my speaking skills in English. As I've said previously, you're studying English, so you are trying to develop or improve a certain skill in order to get higher grades in the subject itself. It's not necessarily that it's English, it could be in any other subject. But referring to the example here, we are speaking about English subject. So, if you want to improve your speaking skills in English, it could be two months, it could take five months or a year as maximum. So it is short term goal. What about long term goals, my dear students? Let's see. If the goal can be achieved in the next four to five years, or it could take more or longer, then here it is considered to be a long term goal. An example, I will become a bank manager. This is one of the aims that maybe one of the students is aiming for. So if you want to be in a certain position, not necessarily a bank manager, any position you are aiming for, 
then this is definitely a long-term goal because it's going to be achieved within four to five years or maybe it's going to take more than that. Let's do a very simple exercise. Just let me check your understanding about the short-term and the long-term goals. You will classify the below goals into short and long-term goals. Here's a table. It has four different goals or aims. Think about them before answering. Just check the short-term the short goal and check the long-term goal. I'll read them for you. The first one, I will travel all over the world. Two, I will improve my reading skills in English. Three, I will save money to open my own company. Last one, I will learn Spanish. I'll give you a minute, my dear students. Think about these goals, pay attention before taking the right answer. So, let's do the answers together now. I will, tra I will travel all over the world. Long-term goal. I hope you got it right. It is definitely a long-term goal because how many countries do we have in the world? Are you going to do this? Are you going to travel all over the world in a year or less? That's impossible, which means it is long-term goal. Let's see the second one. I'll improve my reading skills in English. Short-term goal, maybe because it's related to the school subject or maybe you are able to improve that in a month, in two, but it's not going to take more than a year. I will save money to open my own company. It's so obvious that it is long-term goal. Why? Because you're going to open a company, which means you need a huge amount of money, which takes more than four to five years to save money. Last but not least, I will learn Spanish language, short-term goal. It's not necessarily that you will learn this language in a month or let's say you will be fluent in a year, but it's possible for you to learn within a year. It's not going to take four to five years. That's the main concept here. Now, let's move to the second objective of today, which is the layout of writing about short and long-term goals. Let's see together. How many paragraphs do you think we're going to have? This is a bit different from the other writings because it's listing points. Let me clarify that. We start at the introduction or the first paragraph. You're going to state the main topic in a form of a heading. Pay attention to the word heading. You will have a heading or a main idea. This is the main idea, current year goals. You will just write this and you'll start at the second paragraph, which is, you will list at least three goals for this year and the specific steps that you're going to take in order to achieve or reach this goal. Pay attention, my dear students. You're going at least to specify three short-term goals. You may ask now, is it okay if I mention four short-term goals? Yes, you're able to do that, but it shouldn't be less than three short-term goals. And you're going to mention number one, number two, 
and number three. You have to list them in three or four points. Plus, I want you to pay attention to this. You will write the specific steps or the procedure that you are going to take in order to reach this goal or in order to achieve this aim. For example, I want to learn English. I want to improve my English. Okay, that's the goal. Where's the procedure? You have to specify in order to do that, I will read more books, I will watch more movies, I will listen to English music. It depends on whatever you want to do, my dear students. Let's move to the final paragraph here. You're going to list one long-term goal you want to reach in the next five years, or it could take more than five years. For example, here where you have to mention being a student, that you want to be, for example, right about your future job. Maybe you want to be a teacher, maybe you want to be a doctor, it depends on what's your plan, or it could be any other long-term goal. So it will be only one, and you will mention it, then you are done. Let's see a structure. Now, we're going to write about our future goals. You could have your papers, or you could write notes, you can mention anything you want in your papers and then check with the slideshows. So, write about your goals. Let's start with the heading, as I've mentioned at the layout, current year goals. It has to be minimum three. So I have one, two, three. Let's start with the first one. I will develop my reading skill in English. Now, this is the aim. To do this, here is the procedure, pay attention. I will read stories and novels in English. Also, I will read newspapers and online blogs in English only. This is my procedure in order to achieve my goal, which is developing my reading skill. Full stop, let me move to the next one. I will score higher marks in mathematics. Now let's leave the English subject aside and let's move to another subject, which is the mathematics. Okay, it could be replaced with any subject from your choice. Now, how am I going to achieve this goal? I have a procedure, which is I will plan a studying schedule to revise all the required skills each day. This is my procedure. And again, I'm bringing to your attention that it could be different. This is not the only procedure that you have to stick to, but this is just a suggestion or an option for you to write later on. Let's move to the last short-term goal, which is I will learn Spanish. Is it necessarily to write Spanish? No, you can write any other language that you are looking for. Now. How am I going to learn Spanish? To do this, I have to write a procedure. Let's see. To do this, I will watch more Spanish movies and concentrate on the pronunciation. Moreover, I will download an application for teaching Spanish language. So, I have mentioned two procedures on how I will learn Spanish language. I hope it's clear, you can write down any note. Moving to the long-term goal. Don't forget, it has to be in a heading. Then here, you have to write your long-term goal. One is enough. Let's see. My long-term goal is to become a nurse. Now, this is one of the jobs that you could be at the future. So, if you want to be a nurse, what are the things that you have to do in order to be a nurse? Let's see. Is to become a nurse at one of the local hospitals in my country. How are you going to be a nurse at one of the local hospitals? I will apply for a scholarship to study nursing in one of the famous universities. This is number one. And then, and I will study hard to become what I am aiming for. So. I've mentioned two ways or two procedures on how to achieve my main goal, which is to become a nurse in the far future, because it's long-term goal, as I have said before. 
if I did this, this full stop, and I am done. This is very easy writing, just has simple points and you're done. Now, as we do every time, I will give you a simple task to do after learning the lesson. You will write about your short-term goals as well as one long-term goal. You may refer to your book, Project Success 1, English 802, page 106. Don't forget, my dear students, to include details about how to achieve each goal. We come to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful to you. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Goodbye.